Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Okay, so are you ready to learn about After Effects? So today we're going to start up with our After Effects lesson and then we're going, we're going to basically talk about all the basics of After Effects. We're also going to cover up some other tools here, but we are focusing specially on After Effects and we'll cover up the other tools later on as well. So now let, us, let me start up with the After Effects program. I'm using After Effects CC 2014 right here. You might have different ver versions, but don't worry about it. Like uh, the workflow is same in most of the softwares. So let me open up with the software software here okay starting starting okay it's loading 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 okay there it is okay just before uh, I start up with the um, After Effects software I'm gonna make sure that my computer runs in full power because this is a very power hungry application right here I'm going to go over to my power options uh, from my start menu, I'm, I'm going to make sure that my computer is in high performance mode because that is really important while you work with After Effects. So since After Effects is a heavy file, you can see it takes a while to load, but um, okay, so I'm going to speed this up for you. And there we go. We got all the things necessary. Okay, it's still loading. As you can see, my mouse cursor, it shows the loading sign. Okay, now this is fully loaded and as you can see the welcome screen is here and you can use some of the helps and supports and everything else is here to help you get started. Anyways, I do not need that. We are going to start up using the After Effects so I'm going to close that. I'm going to make sure that the window is maximized and before we start, we are going to make sure we, stand, uh, we work in a standard uh, layout. So to make sure that you are in the standard layout as well, uh, I'm going to make sure you go to workspace right here at the top corner right here that it says standard I'm going to make sure that it is on standard and sometimes you might notice that uh, the standard setting is not always the same you might have everything messed up all around here as you can see I can actually mess up the software quite easily so to make sure that everything stays where it is and you work with the same layout make sure that you are on standard and then choose uh, reset standard right over here at the end so you just press yes and there you have you got the right uh, you, you got the standard settings right here so before we start up with animating we are going to cover up some basic things here like uh, size and frame rate file uh, saving a file importing a file and so forth and about keyframes which is the key of the animation. So as you can see here in the left side there we can see the project window. Right? This is where we collect all the files. This is where we collect all the files here. It's going to be collected all right over here. This is the composition window and this is where you will make most of the animations. You'll see the animation right here. And then here is where you select the effects from. Here are the play and pause buttons to preview the animation. And on the bottom side, you can actually see the main timeline of the animation, which we use to navigate the time back and forth. So now, without further ado, let me uh, let's just like start the animation. So as we uh, as we um, uh, approach to the new digital age, the standard quality for today's world is SD. So we have to especially uh, start up with a new composition we have to start up from this area right here so we got to make a new file a new uh, canvas for the animation we, where we can start animating as you can see on the left here on the left on the left below the project window you can actually see some three little icons here at the bottom we're not going to like use the other three right now we're going to use this one right here and as you can hover uh, on it it says you can actually clearly see that it says create a new composition let me hover in that again okay create a new composition let me click, click on that and you can see that the new composition window actually pops up right here and now you can see the thing called preset let us not worry about the other stuff right now let us work with preset right here this let you set the standard of the quality of video you want to workflow or you want to animate in after effects so you can see at the bottom 
like um, the default that one the, the default that one is selected is SDTB 1080 29.97 okay so now uh, let us talk about the video formats that we are going to use usually I go for SDTB 1080 25 which stands for a PAL video a PAL SD video so if you're in US or Japan then you might want to use this because Japan and US are NTSC zones this is the normal standard quality NTSC uh, this is for the standard TV while this is for the SDTB I'm basically going to choose 29.97 if I'm in the US or Japan but everywhere else is 25 that is that stands for PAL okay let's just keep it that way for now and once I choose that you can see you can you don't have to worry about anything else After Effects does that for you and in the background color it is black let it be black if you want to change the color then do it later now anyways um, I can set up the composition name let me name it because a naming habit is very important for animation it makes the things less complicated um, in the future so I'm going to name it as uh, my first animation okay let me say my first AE animation let me press OK and before we start let us save we should always remember to save so let me go to file let me save that okay let me just save it and I'm going to go over to my files uh, let's say I'm going to uh, create a new folder my first project in after effects okay go inside and name this as follows let me just say my first animation all right okay let me save that out and once I save that out as you can see I can actually see the name on the left hand corner right here okay so that's it for the project setting now we are going to move on to some animation and then we'll save it as a video okay as you can see at the top there's the toolbar you can see at the top right here you got a lot of toolbar right here we're going not going to use all of it right now we're going to start up with the text tool that's quite simple we go to the text first okay let us type something okay let us type the name of the channel which is what's the name of the channel tutor okay no no tutor tube okay that's it then once I click on the text and once I finish typing I'm going to go back onto my selection tool so that I can resize the video now as you can see this now this is not resizing properly I'm going to press ctrl Z to undo that I'm going to hold shift so that I can resize this in a very proportionate manner once I hold shift you can actually see that this moves proportionally if I Left, leave out the sip then you can see that the, this um, text distorts a lot but when I press sip this actually helps me uh, resize the text in a proportionate manner okay so let me position the text right over here now my I want my first animation to be like this I want this text to move from this position to this position um, in about two seconds alright so this position to this position in about two seconds so, so this is my starting position right here so now in order to uh, start the animation I have to set something called a keyframe um, a keyframe is like an anchor point or a milestone uh, for uh, where you, you can set the positions for the animation anyways I'm just going to go over here and show it to you how it's done now as you can see once I created this text a layer appeared at the bottom which said that which says uh, tutor tube which is the exact same text I type this is known as an after effects layer and as you can I see and this is what two seconds is like okay so I want two seconds of animation I want this animation to start from here and end, end it at two seconds so I'm going to go over here at the left corner uh, which, seems, I, which see, uh, seems like a little triangle over here so I'm going to click that and it expands the setting of uh, this text so you can go under the transform menu go under the transform menu and you can see a lot of options now since uh, dragging this from top to bottom 
is dragging the position I'm going to position um, like a, have a keyframe on the position right here so this is my starting frame and I want this text to be here at the end of two seconds so I'm going to have my uh, title over here I'm going to hold this little stopwatch before um, uh, stopwatch icon click on this before the position all right so this is my starting position this is my timeline cursor I'm gonna have it at the beginning I'm going to hold the position I'm going to click this icon right here and as I click it you can see that a little milestone has been placed right over here at the beginning all right okay so now at the end of six uh, two seconds where do I want my video I want it right over here so I'm simply going to let's say drag this and as you can see as I drag this I have a line over here I can even press shift to have a straight line okay and as I drag this you can actually see that another keyframe is created right over here and I and it's created at the exact same spot where I actually created this uh, I, where, where I placed this cursor so I'm going to go over to the beginning and I'm going to play this and to play this I can simply press the space bar key or press this play button right over here I'm going to play this as you can see this loads up and now the first time you play it it does not play at a normal speed but the second time you play it it plays at a very normal speed that's because like this processes the animation before it actually plays up and as you can see the in between frames are created itself and I have a very very simple animation right here okay so you can do this with a lot of text if you want the animation to continue further let me say I want the animation to go back then I can simply drag the video back up and as you can see that it goes down right then it goes back up right so I can have another animation right here I can also add in other layers so I'm going to deselect this click on an empty spot right here click here and let's just say uh, I'm going to type okay uh, after effects so I'm going to hold shift okay sorry for that might be a tricky sometimes okay so hold shift and drag it uh, okay not that that uh, that big I'm going to keep it over here so I'm going to play this I just press the space bar and over to the one second when uh, I want this animation to just start from one second from this space to this space so I'm going to go over here let me go inside let me go over to the transform menu let's go over to click on position let's go over to the right and then drag like let me just press shift and drag this so as you can see now another animation is created tutor YouTube goes down after effects goes towards the right so that's what my animation is I got it till four and a half second I don't want the video to be this long so as you can see I can navigate the timeline I can drag and increase the zoom level or drag in to decrease the zoom level so I can drag it out uh, squeeze this in a bit let me squeeze this in let me squeeze this in about four and a half second because that's the only part of the animation I want so let me right click and I got the op option right over here called trim work comp to work area let me just click that that's it okay so I got the um, uh, rec amount of length that I want so let me play that and let's see what happens okay so that's the animation I want so let me save a video file of this and to save a video file is quite simple select the composition this is my first After Effects animation go to file go to export okay I do want to save this file okay if I save this file then it saves an After Effects version of the file it saves an AEP version so if I were to go over to file let me press export add to render queue let me press that and as you can see 
I am I have a render queue window open right here so now at the end there's the output module called lossless all right so that's lossless right over here and uh, after I go to the render queue I want to say, change the format on which I'm going to save this by default this is an AVI I want maybe like I want a lower size uh, so I'm going to go over here at the output module click on this thing little thing called lossless little word click on it and I got this option right here so we are not going to go deep into the formatting settings right now we're going to go over to the format and then let me just choose quick time and let's go to format options and here choose f.264 okay that's it that's uh, that's what I want to do if you want to output the audio file I don't really have the audio file right now so I can just turn off the audio press OK and at the end you can see output to my first After Effects animation let me click on that to choose where I want to save it I want to save it to the same folder where I have my After Effects file so I have my After Effects file okay what is the name of the folder I forgot okay the name of the file was my first uh, project in After Effects okay there I have a spelling error right there okay I'm going to correct that later on so double click save it and then press render see the magic see the magic of the process all right so that's the bounce effect i know it doesn't look that great we're going to move on to some greater stuff in upcoming videos anyway so now uh, let us go over to that folder let me see what the video uh, looks like now so i'm going to go over to okay oh my god I really need to arrange the files on my PC, isn't it? Okay. So, my first animation project in After Effects. This is it. Now, I like to play my videos using VLC. Let me open that out. And there you go. That's the video file. So, hope you learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I will be sure to uh, upload some more tutorials in upcoming days. And then I hope you like your videos. I'll make sure that I'll uh, start up a series of these tutorials and will I will continue from this portion right on here. So later in the lesson, uh, we'll continue with uh, some more advanced stuff. This is the basics. Hope you practice it. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can just send me um, send me a message or like just leave a comment below. Uh, to ask something I'll be sure to check them out and reply to you uh, thank you very much for your time and hit the subscribe button or give a like and give a like if you enjoyed the video